Hey guys, welcome back. This is AJXG here with another video. So I have some news for you guys for the new Nintendo Switch. So it's going to be called the Nintendo Switch Lite, which is smaller than a regular Switch and it is handheld portable only. So that means the Joy-Cons will not be able to come off of this Switch. Right now, they only have a few colors. I only like one of the colors, actually. They have this yellow color. It looks kind of like a mustard uh, color going on here. I don't know. But the turquoise blue one is beautiful. I really like that because it's like it's blue with white buttons. But then again, if your hands is dirty, the white buttons aren't going to always look so pretty. And nobody likes that. But also, they have a black, oh not black, like a gray variant like the original Switch came when it came with the colorful Joy-Cons and it came with just the gray, bland looking Joy-Con. So, it's going to be priced at 200 bucks, okay, so $100 cheaper, okay. So, the measurements of the Switch that we currently have right now is 4 inches high, 9.4 inches long, okay. The Switch Lite is going to be a little smaller than that, not that much, okay? So it's going to be 3.6 inches high and 8.2 inches long, okay? The light touchscreen is also going to be smaller, okay? It's going to be 5.5 inches. Right now the Switch is 6.2 inches. I kind of wish they went with a Switch Pro instead of a Switch Lite, but you know what? The holiday season is coming, Pokemon is coming out, so they know people are going to want to have the Switch Pokemon. So you want to have something that's even smaller to carry with you, but to be honest, I don't even feel like the regular Switch is that big, okay? Um, it does have a longer battery life, okay? There's a D-pad on it. I am so jealous because we have these bum-ass directional buttons on the Switch, and I really want a D-pad. That's why I'm going to buy an 8 Vito controller for the Switch when I play Mario Maker, okay? Because the D-pad on the Pro Controller is ass, okay? Um, like I said, the Joy-Cons are not detachable, so they stay on the controller. Also, it won't be able to be docked, okay? And it won't come with a dock. So if you have a dock and you're like, oh, I have a Switch Lite also, and you want to dock your Switch Lite, no, you can't do that. Sorry, it only comes with the charger and the Switch, okay? The Switch Lite can play all games that are in the Switch library, okay? So you don't got to worry about, oh, the games are only supported for this and for that. Compatible with all the games, so you don't have to worry about getting another Switch, okay? If you want another Switch because you feel like your Switch battery life is not that good and you want something that's a little better, of course, go with this option. Okay, you can play wirelessly. Okay, you can you can use wireless controller, so you can use a pro controller with it because it does come with a kickstand, so you don't have to worry about not having a kickstand. Okay, so this is the news for you. Um, I did say there's a longer battery life. If you want to know, it's literally in half an hour more. You know, companies like to say, "Oh, longer battery life," and you think, "Okay, I can get another hour to two hours on it." No, the regular Switch battery life is 2.4, 2.5 hours to 6.5 hours. The Switch Lite is 3 hours to 7 hours. So you literally get a half an hour of extra battery life if you want to go with this option, okay? Um, yes, so I would like to say thank you to my source, Kotaku, okay, on the internet. Also, you guys want to know when it's going to be released. I forgot to add that. It's going to be released September 20th. So, just in time for Pokemon, okay? Everyone knows Pokemon usually drops in September or November. So, this is coming just in time, just in case you guys want to get this, all right? Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave in the comment section down below if you're thinking about getting uh, a Pokemon, a Pokemon Lite, <laughs> a Nintendo Switch Lite. Or you're just going to pay the extra $100 to get the dock mode. Personally, for me, I prefer to play it docked when I'm home. And I only take it out with me when I plan on going a long day out and I'm going to be bored and my phone's not going to last that long. 
and it's honestly not that big i have this wonderful case and yeah and prime day is coming up so don't be like oh i'm gonna wait and get a 200 dollars switch because it's light and it has a color on it and blah 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 and has a d-pad that d-pad is wonderful but prime day is coming up on the 15th and 16th so even if you're paying 300 dollars for a switch you may get two games with it so you're getting $420 price point for only $300 so just stick around for that alright guys this is AJXG here with your gaming news AJXG out <laughs>